Hello, I'm Pam Carruthers of HealingStars.com and this is a very important day, the day of the summer solstice and it's celebrated at Stonehenge. Traditionally summer solstice and also the winter solstice. It's a turning point of a season in our year and today is also a full moon which occurred earlier today which is incredibly significant. This has not happened since 1967, the summer of love, for those of you who remember it. It's also the second full moon in Gemini. The sun is in Gemini, the full moon is actually in Sagittarius. And it's, so that's why it's called a blue moon. It has no significance apart from the beauty of it. But the standing stones, these incredible monolith, this celebration of Saturn. This is what Saturn represents and it's very very important. It's the reason why I chose this image. This is the chart set for London and it's 11.34 p.m. tonight 20th of June and Saturn is right at the top of the chart in the year set for the UK. Saturn here, 11 degrees of Sagittarius, 50 minutes retrograde, and it's at a right angle, a square, a tense, challenging aspect to Neptune at 12 Pisces, which has just gone retrograde only a week ago. That exact square was Friday on the 18th of June. Also, you can see they're not alone, these two energies. They are connected also to Jupiter, a positive quality always, and also very significantly Mercury. So what is forming here is called a grand cross and it's in mutable signs, changeable signs. And here you can see the Sun and Venus together in Cancer opposite the Moon in Capricorn. Now Neptune can be confusion, can feel overwhelmed. Have you been feeling like that? I know I have. Feel energetic, can feel very drained physically. It's also deep, deep feelings that can be connected to the world, not just your own personal life. Grief has been very strong over the last week. We've had the Orlando shootings, a horrific, horrific event. And then the shooting killing of a beloved MP in the UK, Joe Cox. Neptune is about compassion. It also can be sacrifice. It also can feel, as I said, the overwhelm, the feeling of loss of control. Saturn in the negative can be rigid, it represents walls as well as stone, restrictions, karmic, Saturn is the lord of karma, and also fear because we fear the unknown. It's quite natural for all of us as humans to fear the unknown. Jupiter on the other hand always wants to look for the future to look up. If you walk along the street you're looking up, you're a Jupiterian person, looking down you're Saturn. Jupiter is always in a sign of Virgo which is it's not happy there. It, it's very much concerned with detail as opposed to the big picture which is the opposite sign it likes of Pisces and Sagittarius. So it's not as strong as it may be normally. And Virgo is in turn governed by Mercury. So Mercury now is leading because Mercury is in its own sign. Mercury in, in Gemini is communication. But notice it's opposite Saturn. It's communication has to be serious. Commitment is a very important principle for all of us to be working on at this time, individually and collectively. And of course in the UK we are facing a referendum. 
we are facing a time when all of us in the UK, who are voting age of course, can vote whether we stay in Europe or we leave. I am firmly in the Remain camp. I trust those leaders who also are in the Remain camp. I very much doubt the integrity of many people in the Leave. But I also believe in unity. Unity is a principle in astrology which is very much to do with Neptune. Neptune is about oneness. It's about recognising that each and every one of us, I believe, is a child of God. And people behave badly, appallingly, but deep down we are all one. And our mirror rather, is the world. So what do you see in the world? A picture that struck me on the internet, on Facebook actually, was this picture. And as I look at it, I can feel shivers going up and down my spine and tears in my eyes. These people are protecting their guardian angels in their wonderful white linen wings, all shapes and sizes. And they are protecting the funeral in Orlando of those who were killed. They're protecting them from a church with 40 members that pickets, funerals of gay people. And in order to block that very dark negative energy, here they are, dressed as guardian angels. I think it's quite wonderful. What a, what a motley crew they are, but amazing. The other image today is this of Joe Cox. Parliament of all persuasions, all parties are joining today to remember her and where she used to sit. This is White Rose. And the Red Rose. When I heard of her death I cried a woman I've never met. But I could feel something from this extraordinary woman. And the more I read, the more amazing she is. She was. And the white rose is a symbol of Yorkshire, where she came from. Her family had been extraordinary in their outpouring of love, of grace, of determination, and they're not caught in hatred. They are truly extraordinary family. And this to me is very, very much what's going on at this time. So if you'd like personal healing, astrology consultation with me, I have got a special offer on. £70 instead of my usual £95. And it's finishing the end of June, so I've only got five places left. So if you feel the need of support, if you too have been touched, if you too are feeling overwhelmed at this moment of time with these events that are going on, you're not alone. <laughs> I want you to say, you know, to recognise that is very much what the stars are saying. And the more we connect heart to heart and recognise the compassion, the grace, and that each and every one of us can be that guardian angel. Thank you for watching. Pam Carruthers of HealingStars.com.